Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to play the song Have You Ever Seen the Rain by Creedence Clearwater Revival. That's coming up next. All right, before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video like this every single week, so you don't want to miss that. Secondly, make sure that you download the PDF transcription of this song. You can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. And lastly, make sure you have your drumsticks with you so that you can play along with me as we work our way through the song. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna cover in this song is the introduction. It's six measures long, and it begins immediately with this quick uh, pickup notes on the guitar. So it's down, up, down, and we start right on that third strum. And then at the end of that first line, we have this syncopated kick rhythm. One and two and three. And so you'll notice throughout the song, this is a pattern that happens where the drummer changes the kick drum part to match that kind of, uh, you know, melodic hook that the band is playing. Ba -da, ba -ba -da -ba. So you're going one and 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 four. Okay, and then when you skip down to the second two measures, you're going to go back to the main groove. Doom, boom, boom. And then you'll play the offbeat kick rhythm again. Da, 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 da. Da -da. Okay, so the main beat, one, two, and three, four, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare, off beat, ba -da -ba -ba -boom, boom, kick, kick, again, da -da 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 -da. okay, grab your sticks, you got them, so get ready to play along with me, we're going to do the whole introduction two times, nice and slow, so here we go, play along with me. All right, very nice. That introduction is one of the harder parts in the song, so if you can do that, you'll be able to play the rest of the song no problem. Okay, let's take a look at verse one. We're gonna skip down to the very end and practice the drum fill in verse one. We're gonna skip the rest of it because it's just that same drum beat, dunes, ba, dun, dunes, ba, for literally the entire verse. Okay, so what we're gonna do is practice the drum fill at the end of the verse, and then the one measure before it as well. So we'll be playing a little two measure phrase. So we'll we'll practice that whole thing in a second, but let me explain the drum fill first. So it's just eighth notes. You're gonna do kick drum and hi-hat, and then the next seven notes is snare drum and hi-hat, and you'll see there's a crescendo written underneath. That's what the um, greater than symbol underneath is indicating. So it's telling you to actually get a little bit louder. And as you do that, we're gonna open the hi-hat symbol slightly. That also adds some energy and helps build into the chorus. So it's gonna go doot, ba, doot, doot, ba, one, da, 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 boom. And then we're in the chorus. So we're gonna play this entire two measure phrase four times in a row. So you, we're just gonna play that drum fill over and over again, okay? So grab your drumsticks. Let's play the drum fill at the end of verse one together. Here we go. All right, excellent job. Now we are into chorus one. So here you're gonna notice that the kick pattern, it changes slightly. So the first like two measures of the chorus are the same as before, where it just does the boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. But then after that, for, for all the other choruses, the kick drum does two hits every time after the snare. So it's like boom, 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 boom. Okay, it just keeps going with that two kick pattern. And then another small detail you need to notice is that the, at the end of the um, f the lines of the chorus, so the four measure phrases, there are two snare drums. Doon, ba, doon, doon, ba, ba, doon. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, and then the very end of the chorus. Coming down on a sunny day. Boom, right at the end where they stop singing there, you're gonna close the hi-hats. So it kind of like, cuts it off and brings the dynamic back down a little bit. Then we're gonna finish by playing that offbeat kick rhythm again because the band plays that little melody again. Da dun 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 do doom leading us back into the verse. So it's doom coming down on a sunny day. Close the hi-hats. Doom boom boom ba ba dum ba ba bum bum and then we go into verse two. So Grab your sticks, let's play chorus one all the way through. We're gonna do it twice. Here we go. Okay, wonderful job guys playing through that chorus. Next, we're gonna go and play all the way through verse two. Okay, this should be pretty simple for you by now, but I wanna just still run through it because there's one small change that happens in verse two compared to verse one. So halfway through verse two, they replay the little uh, melody hook. Da dunk, da dunk, doom doom. All right, so you'll see halfway through verse two, so on the eighth measure of verse two, that kick drum pattern reappears. Doom, doom, boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then the drum fill at the end of verse two is slightly different. Now it's the exact same as verse one, except now the eighth notes continue on the bass drum for the entire fill. One and two and three and four and, um, so everything's pretty much going together. We're still gonna do the gradual hi-hat opening and the crescendo as well. So. Um, grab your sticks, let's play verse two together, nice and slow.
All right, excellent guys. We are already to the final portion of the song that we're gonna work through, and that is chorus three. Now here's something pretty neat happens. You're gonna hit the crash symbol with the snare drum hits. So it's boom, crash, doom, doom, crash, doom, doom, crash, doom, doom, crash. Our kick drum and snare are doing the same part as before. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, doing two kicks right after every snare. We're still doing open hi-hat. Okay, we're gonna play that all the way through. And then when we get to the very end, the very last line, there's a couple of interesting things that happen. So they do the, coming down on a sunny day. He doesn't actually close the hi-hat in the recording until that snare drum, and then kind of right at that snare drum hit on the next to last measure. Doom, sha, doom, doom, doom. And you'll notice there's three kick drums there after that snare. That's the only time there's three kick drums in the whole song. So it's boom, coming down, gonna sunny day. Close hi hat. Doom, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. And we end with just a quarter note and open hi hat hit, and then a crash cymbal and a kick drum. Da, 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 snare and open hi hat crash and kick drum to finish out the song. Okay, grab your sticks. We're gonna play chorus three two times in a row together. Here we go. Okay, fantastic job, everyone. If you were able to play through all those sections of the song slowly with me, then you're ready to try the entire song from start to finish. So grab your drumsticks and uh, let's give this a try. It's pretty fast, but just do your best to keep up. And you can also go back and slow down the video as well. But play this along with me from start to finish.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new drum lesson like this every single week, so you don't want to miss that. Um, and lastly, if you'd like to support my channel, make sure to go to my website, jaredshantos.com. You can sign up for drum lessons or order a JC logo t-shirt. All right, thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.